Oh, we started. Just a sec. Few weeks back, I recovered from COVID-19. It was a terrible experience for me. Not because I was having some breathlessness or fever, but because my taste buds stopped working for 10 freaking days. For a foodie like me, not being able to taste my favorite food was a terrible time. I discovered my love for food at the age of six, when my mom introduced me to the Indian menu of McDonald's. The love since then has been so strong that even today, if I pass by those iconic golden arches of McDonald's, the six-year-old inside me starts shouting three mac aloo tiki without tomato, but three extra tomato ketchups. <laughs> I fall in love with India every time I look at the diversity we have, especially when it comes to food. From the food in North India to the food in South India. From the food in West India to the food in East and Northeast India. I've had it all. Being in India, but not being a foodie, is like being on Tinder, but not for hookups. <laughs> but I soon realized that apart from pleasure, what food really brings to the table is guilt. Guilt in the form of organic waste. As for a report by Planning Commission of India, the total waste generation in India is more than 1 lakh metric tons. This is equivalent to 20,000 trucks of waste generation every single day. That means, by the time I finish this talk, more than 200 trucks of waste will be generated. Out of this total waste, 51% is the organic waste like horticulture waste, kitchen waste, slaughterhouse waste, etc. The 17% is the recyclable waste, like plastic, rubber, metal, and glass. And the remaining 32% is the inert or the construction waste. Unfortunately, most of this waste is being dumped at the landfills. Doing greetings to you and your family, my friends. My name is Shrey Saxena, and I'm a second generation social entrepreneur at Grow Diesel. I'm fighting climate change by converting waste to wealth. My family has been deeply connected with the roots of nature. In India, the paternal grandfather is often referred as Dadu. When my dadu was building a house 30 years back in which we today live, he only got the 70% of the house constructed. In the remaining 30%, he got a beautiful garden made with a lot of beautiful plants, flowers, and especially a mango tree. My dadu was a school teacher who taught biology and was deeply connected with nature. Unfortunately, I never got to meet him. And I've always heard his stories from his three children, my dad, my uncle, and my aunt. But he left us a beautiful garden in which we today enjoy a lot. This gift has been so priceless that almost every festival is celebrated at our home. My friends, my father's friends, my mother's friends, and even my brother's friends, everyone loves to be at our home. In this Hindu festival known as Holi, even friends of friends of friends turn up at our house. This beautiful gift has been extremely priceless. Talking about my mother, my mother took the legacy ahead as she found her love for gardening. She took one step ahead and she started doing organic farming in one patch. And she started to grow something which I absolutely hate. Tomatoes. <laughs> Talking about my father, my father has been the most innovative person I've ever come across. He's always been this risk taker who nurtures innovation for the benefit of the society and environment. During his job days, 
He played a pioneering role in setting up India's leading mango drink project. He often joked that when our mango tree starts yielding mangoes, he will start his own mango drink business. That didn't happen, but something else did. In 2001, he decided to fight climate change through actions. He started working in the field of green fuels and energy. He believed that green fuels and energy can transform the economy, society, and environment. So under his leadership, our team started working on technologies that could convert waste into biofuel. It took us five years of research and three years of execution to master this technology. Through our patented technology, we can convert organic waste into compressed biogas, also known as CBG and biofertilizer. And the plastic waste can be converted into green crude oil and biobitumen. This biofuel can be used for cooking, to run our vehicles, for road construction in the industries, to generate electricity, and even to charge our electric vehicles. Well, some of you must be thinking if it's too good to be true. Let me tell you that the first waste to biofuel project executed by us was inaugurated by the former Chief Minister of Delhi in year 2010. After that, we went on to work with several state governments. And from year 2010 to year 2020, through our projects, we have converted more than 2,50,000 metric tons of waste into biofuel. <laughs> through our projects, we have been able to reduce more than 30 crore kgs of carbon emissions. It would have taken more than 7 lakh full-grown trees to eliminate this number of carbon emissions. So you see, something has been in our family. It all started by my grandfather of having this initiative of having a mini garden at our home. Followed by my mother who started organic farming and ultimately my father who came up with a venture through which he could fight climate change. Today I'm standing in front of you to take something forward which my family began. I believe that I can take this forward by focusing on the communities. I truly believe in the power of communities. I did my first startup at the age of 14 with three of my school friends in the computer lab of my school. This motto of our school was, we learn to serve. Four of us took it very seriously as we used to represent our school in various inter-school IT competitions. We soon realized that there was a huge difference in what was actually happening in the industry and what was being taught. So we decided to form this community in which we could train students in different fields of IT like coding, designing, editing, IT quizzing, and a lot more. Soon this community became such a hit that we started winning a lot of inter-school competitions. In 2013, we even hosted the inter-school IT competition for the first time in the history of our school. This event generated a six-figure revenue for the school. The entrepreneurship spirit which I have, it's all because of INEX. Being in this community was a pride for every member. Especially guys. Well, that might be because a lot of girls were absolutely mad for the guys at INEX. <laughs> but jokes apart, being in this community taught me the power of communities. Apart from this, I've been a part of five different communities and every community had a different objective. Just because of a community of adventurers, I was able to travel in four European countries with absolutely no money. That's right. Having witnessed the power of communities so closely, I'm convinced that a community can bring big changes. 
So apart from executing the waste to biofuel projects, we have started to build community of climate saviors. These climate saviors are the volunteers who want to do their part of fighting climate change. Through these climate saviors, we want to enable and inspire people to take actions to fight climate change. We took a lot of initiatives through which we could connect with the youth. For instance, we collaborated with a Formula 4 car racing team to increase the use of biofuels. Our team ended up winning majority of the races. In association with an organization, we educated over 2,000 village students on cleanliness. In this initiative, people from more than 15 countries participated. We even collaborated with few travel startups for sustainable travel kits. Very recently, we even launched a mobile game that revolves around fighting climate change to connect with the youth even more creatively. So you see, everyone has to take some action. Because if you don't, you have absolutely no right to criticize the government, companies, or anyone for matters like pollution. We all contribute to pollution in some or the other way. But what matters is that everyone should take at least three actions to fight climate change. So I'm going to suggest you a few things which you can start implementing from today. Number one, segregate your waste. Put the biodegradable waste in the green and put the recyclable waste in the blue. If you have a cook, teach him or her to do so. You can even put the organic waste in a vessel and later make compost out of it like my mother. Number two, shift to sustainable products. This t-shirt which I'm wearing is made up of six recycled plastic bottles. The stationery which I use is mostly made up of recycled newspaper or recycled cardboard. Number three, start gifting plants or sustainable or recycled products on special occasions. I learned this from my 12-year-old cousin who's also a climate activist. Number four, try to travel in public transportation whenever possible. Number five, volunteer with organizations who are fighting climate change, like ours. Number six, inspire at least three people to take at least three actions which I just mentioned. I would like to take this moment to request all the influencers or people from their team. If anyone is watching this video, I request you to please inspire your fans to take actions to fight climate change for our Mother Earth, because you guys can make a big difference. Someone has rightly said that one generation plants the mango tree, the second generation nurtures it, and finally, the third generation enjoys the mangoes. So friends, if today you decide to take at least three actions, trust me, three generations later, our planet will be a much, much, much better place to live. Today, you have the power to decide. You can either imagine your future generations enjoying their favorite food, or you can imagine them suffer. The choice is yours. So friends, let's together take at least three actions and make this world a better place to live. Namaste.